So let's take a minute and talk about the Body Shop Booster application that we built to streamline estimates for your customers. Now we built this primarily because we started looking at what is standing in the way of our customers getting an estimate from us. Now here's what's interesting, when you take a look at the average shop, so think about your shop hours for a second. Most shops are open eight to five, Monday through Friday. Most customers work those same exact hours. It's just not convenient. On top of that, the average customer has to invest an hour and a half out of their day to come to you to get an estimate. That again isn't very convenient. They got a half hour driving time to get to you, half hour for the estimate, half hour to return back to work. Now we started looking at it and saying this is really like Blockbuster. Blockbuster had the exact same model. You drive down the store, you rent the movie, you drive back home, and then lo and behold this little company called Netflix comes along with a much more convenient model and completely wipes out the 800 pound gorilla which was Blockbuster. Convenience is one of the best selling and best strategies we have to grow a shop. So let's get into this. Now the first thing that we need to look at is how do we get the estimating tool to the customer? All right, and this is really the, the most important, most pivotal piece that we need to look at. So there's two strategies. Strategy number one is what we call a passive strategy. And that means that it requires no involvement at the level of the shop or the shop staff. The customer on their own recognizance can go and get the estimating tool from your website. And here's a couple examples of some websites that do a really good job of directing the customer straight into the estimating tool. Another thing that we can do is we can get to people through what other passive strategies such as mail outs, um, handouts, business cards, posters, anything like this is a great great strategy to generate passive traffic and that will get you estimates. Now on top of that, where this really gets powerful, where the rubber truly meets the road, is inside of the active strategy. Now the active strategy is built so that within three to five seconds, we can get the estimate tool to the customer. And the reason I like this so much is, especially for inbound calls or um, assignments, we need to set the fishing hook Boom, get in that corner of that customer's mouth and then we can reel them in. The faster you engage with the customer, the higher the likelihood you're gonna get that repair. And this allows us to capitalize on that. So imagine this, your CSR is sitting there, they've got an assignment or they got an inbound call and they can simply say to the customer, all right, well we have two options for you. And it's always a good idea to give somebody two options. If I said to you, you need to go and get a hamburger for lunch, you kind of feel like oh, you're telling me what to do and, I, and maybe I don't like that. But if I say to you, hey, for lunch, do you feel like a hamburger or do you feel like tacos, right? Well, now you have choice. Now, ultimately, I got the same objective. I got you to eat lunch. But by giving that customer choice, they have a better experience of dealing with you. And that's actually a scientific proven fact. By giving choice, the experience is much better. So we want to give our customers choice. And we can literally say to them, all right, well, we have a couple options for you. One, you can come on down to the store. It'll take about 30 minutes for us to do a, an estimate for you, plus your drive time. Or if you want a more convenient option, I can actually just text you over an estimating tool. It'll take you a couple minutes right from your driveway. You can take all the photos we need. We'll assess the damage remotely for you. What would you like to do, right? And now we've presented that customer with those two options. And here's how easy it is to do. The CSR or estimator can literally just click share app. From there, they enter the customer's mobile number and press send. And guys, just like that, it's on the customer's phone. They can say, hey, I just sent you a text message. Did you get it? Customer will look at their phone and go, oh yeah, here it is. Simply click on that link, okay? And that customer is instantly into the estimating tool. We no longer build it on the app stores because this is much faster. There's no memory being used. There's no downloads. There's no having to put your password in. Nothing like that. It's streamlined, it's simple, and it's instant gratification for the customer. Now, a lot of this technology that we've built uses AI or artificial intelligence to really monitor the customer's involvement and help them along the way. So for example, if that customer forgets to open that text message, an hour later, we'll prompt them, hey, here's a little reminder. Now this only happens if they don't open it and we don't relentlessly bug them, we just do it once. Okay, so a lot of the technology is based on that. Let me shift gears and show you what the customer experience actually looks like. So once they click on the app, where you see ABC Auto Body, that's your logo and your branding. Underneath of that, we've embedded a short video that's kind of fun. It's about two minutes long. There's a truck smashes into a car because it's avoiding a skunk and accidents stink and all this wonderful stuff. And then from there, what happens is the customer can start getting an estimate now, but that video really educates them on what's expected of the customer. 
Now we use a principle called guided discovery. One of the biggest frustration points out there of, of really everybody in the industry is bad photos. If we ask a customer just to send us a photo, invariably they're gonna go in three, four inches away, take a photo, we can't tell what we're dealing with. We see that all day long with the insurance companies today. They have estimate tools for their claims and their policies that policyholders, and what happens, same thing, they get bad photos, they write a bad estimate, and it creates a whole, really, kind of a tail spin. And so what we want to do is help that customer give us the good photos so we can accurately assess the damage. Here's how we do it. We use a system called guided discovery. Now that customer can choose between a car, a truck, a van or SUV, or other. Now let's go through this example. As they choose which vehicle they want, the experience will change to meet their unique need. In this little example, let's say we chose the SUV. Now when they get there, it says tap on the damaged area. So they tap on the right rear door. Now they're presented with the right rear door of an SUV and note that it has damage on it. Now the important piece I wanna draw your attention to is see that hand holding the phone? We're depicting the height, the distance, and the angle that we want that customer to take the photo from. And that right there gave us a huge improvement. We saw photo quality improve by 65 to 70%. Don't get me wrong, we're still dealing with humans, they're not perfect, but getting a better photo is really an essential piece here. Here's a prime example. So now the customer knows what is expected of them. They're not going in three or four inches away, they're following our instructions. Now that's obviously a replacement door. And the second piece is we want that customer to take a photo from a side angle. And here's why. When you take a photo from a side angle, especially on light or small damage, it will give you what we call depth perception. Okay, so you can see the dent depth, you can see crowns, transfer, a lot of things that you wouldn't see from a normal straight on photo. Here's an example. Now, once they've taken those two photos, they get a little green check mark indicating that they accurately grabbed that photo. Now they can tap on the quarter panel, repeat the same two steps. Behind the scenes, What's happening is we're labeling the photos so that way we know a lot of information about the vehicle, what panel they're trying to photograph, and we pre-label all the photos when you're looking at the images. Next, we then ask them for additional photos and we specifically specify, that's actually hard to say, specifically specify that we want to see them from a distance. The reason we want this is so we can do a better repair plan. We can see the whole side of the vehicle. What are our blend panels? What's our R&I look like? And a lot of different information. From there, the customer can take as many photos as they want. When they're ready, they press next. We gather the VIN information. We have a video that shows them how to find the VIN number in a strategic pattern, meaning we tell them, take a photo of your insurance card, your ownership, your driver's door jam, and finally, as a last resort, you can always take it through the windshield of the vehicle looking at the dash. Now, you know what it's like. Taking a photo through the windshield can be challenging. So we actually changed the camera settings to what's called OCR, Optical Character Recognition. So the camera's device is now actively searching for letters and digits as a focal point. That gets you a lot better image. And that happens behind the scenes without the customer ever knowing. From there, they go ahead and uh, press next once they've gathered the VIN number. They can review their photos. They can put some damage notes in there. You know, it was my husband's fault. He sideswiped me on soccer practice, whatever it might be, and then press next. Next. Now this is where we go to gather their information. Now if you're a single store, we're going to gather the customer's name, the phone number, the email address, the physical address, and the referral source. How did you hear about us? If you're an MSO and you have multiple locations, we also give them the ability to choose which of your locations is best suited for them. The way we do that is either from a drop down menu or they can get GPS located. So we'll GPS locate their phone, we'll display on a map your locations and they can simply tap on the location that's most convenient for them. By tapping on it, they can select that location and then it will send all of this information directly to that shop. It's that simple. They simply press submit and they're done. So a very simple, very user-friendly experience. Another thing I want to specify while I'm here, if it's an assignment scenario, we can actually pre-populate the app so you can take the information from the assignment, plug it into this app and send it to the customer so the customer doesn't have to do any typing. Isn't that something? Kind of interesting, right? So the experience itself is very, very streamlined and very, very simple.